First of all, we absolutely start with blood work. No client is seen without having blood work done. How do we know what we're treating, right? So in this person's um, treatment plan, are we just recommending weight loss medication? Uh, are they diabetic? Do they have high cholesterol? Um, do they have hormonal imbalances that need to be corrected? Do they have nutritional imbalances that need to be corrected? From there, then we can design a individualized program that meets that person's needs. Um, some clients have a history, like what we said, of osteoarthritis or hormonal imbalances. Um, some clients have um, a history of mental illness. They can have a history of depression. Um, they can have a history of substance use. They can have a history of trauma in which someone may develop a poor relationship with food in order to compensate for that. Okay, so we can tell someone to exercise and eat this amount of calories all we want, but until you identify the root cause of that person's relationship with food, they will always struggle. So for example, I had a client I worked with for six months. I've seen her every week for six months. And it would be two pounds lost one week, one pound back up again, and um, she had reasons, we can call them excuses, but she had reasons why it was a challenge for her. And one day she just bursted out crying that she had been sexually abused and she uses food to comfort herself. Okay, so she was referred to counseling therapy for her to work on that in tandem with this weight management program because her poor relationship with food and her unhealed trauma is one concern, but at the same time, it's now a detriment to her health because she has diabetes, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, and she was only 30. So it's not just, you know, eat less, move more, or else we would all eat the same and it would be the same for everybody, but we know that's not the case.